Hey, it's Dave White with Quad City Safety, here to talk about respiratory. And a lot of people buy respirators, but they don't understand why they're wearing a respirator. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta understand the environment. So this is our environment, we're gonna talk about it today in reference ping pong balls. So when we look at the composition of air that we breathe, well, it's nitrogen. The blue represents some oxygen. So usually about 80%-ish, about 20%-ish. And then the red one is just some other makeup gases like argon and other things, hydrogen, all kinds of other stuff that floats around just in the air. Well, the problem in industrial environments is we have processes or we're using chemicals. So a process can create particulates. So these particulates become in the air that we are breathing. So we don't want to breathe all those particulates. So what happens is we need to basically come up and use filters. And these filters, then as we actually breathe through, filter the particulate out. So when we sit there and talk about a particular particulate filter, this is a HEPA filter, which means it uh, filters at a 99.7%. So it gets almost everything that's particle related out of there. So we're able to then pull that out of the air that's in our industrial facility with this filter then as we breathe it in, we're only getting the things that we want to. So we've got those guys gone and we've kind of taken care of that. Then it becomes a little bit more complicated. So we can throw other things in there. It can be any level of things. So it can be uh, organic vapors, it could be ammonia, it could be acid gas. So we can throw those in to basically, again, this represents the air that we're breathing. And what happens then is, like we talked about, we have a particulate filter is all of a sudden we, it comes where we need a canister. And these canisters all always have colors and we have stuff on our website that explains what the colors are. But the first thing we have to know is what the concentration of what's in our environment, which usually takes an industrial hygienist to come in and take a look at that and figure out and identify. And we'll help them identify by them looking at whether it's MSDSs or just doing air sampling. And we send that into a lab and somebody smarter than us figures out what's in the air and says, oh, this is present. And then um, we go into charts and we take a look at whether it's the threshold limit value, TLV, or the PEL, so a permissible exposure level under OSHA. So those are limits that basically they said, okay, you can have a little bit. You can have a little dose of it. You just can't have more than this amount. So matching a specific cartridge that filters one of those out, and I've got some stacked ones here, so basically we can get particulate, but then all these other things that we need, remember we've already figured out how to get the particulate out, with the magenta or the kind of the pink filters that are going after the particulate. But now let's say, again, whether it's acid gas, ammonia, whatever that is, the wide range of things that can be in an industrial environment, let's say that uh, when it comes to filtering those out, then we basically use these cartridges to filter out. We can still leave this one in here because we've gone to our, our basically schedules or you go into a, a maze of all the different chemicals and it'll tell you how much you can have but we're limiting that dose and we'll talk about that in the next video but I just want to kind of to go in so that we start thinking about what's the air what's in our air and what combination of whether it's cartridges that basically filter those things out that we don't need